G'day everyone, it's Vicky Wright, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, Fraser Coast, Australia. Today I thought I'd share with you this one card that we created in our class yesterday. It's only one of the cards, but this is one that I really liked. Um, it's using the um, Animal Outing stamp set, which is in the current catalogue, um, page 2627. Along with the stamp set, we're going to be using the dies, the Animal Friends dies, and can you see that? Animal Expedition Designer Series Paper. This is gorgeous. Now, the dies will match in with this piece of DSP. Okay, so let's get going. So first up, what we're going to do... Is we're going to I've cut two pieces of DSP of the DSP and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting the wider piece or adhering the wider piece to the narrower piece sorry I forgot my glue okay so let's get going and um, we want to stick it this I want to do it this side so all I'm doing is just putting a little bit of Tombow down one side just like that and I'm using DSP because it's just another way of using your DSP you could use plain cardstock and I'm just going to stick down like that just to show a narrow piece of paper then I'm going to apply adhesive to it and then we're gluing it down to a right to the left hand side of a piece of whisper white cardstock now once again um, all the measurements and a PDF tutorial a list of supplies will be available on my blog okay so that's done so then all we're going to do now is we're going to do a little bit of masking because we're going to mask off we want the elephant um, giraffe to appear behind our rhino so what we're going to be doing is we're going to adhere our rhino now what I did is instead of stamping and coloring I've cut my rhino out okay so I've just used the DSP and all I'm going to do is stick my rhino down now if you didn't have the DSP you could use the stamp works along the same lines and I'm just going to stick him down there so that's all it is just like that then what we're going to do we're going to stamp the rhino onto a scrap piece of paper and fussy cut around now i've only done this side because that's where i'm going to stamp my giraffe so what we're then going to do we're just going to lay him over the top of our rhino like that ink our giraffe up just like that and I'll put him about there remove your mask and that's your rhino behind sorry your giraffe behind the rhino now all I'm going to do now is just quickly I'm not even going to blend I'm just going to color him or her doesn't matter with the light daffodil delight um stamp and blend that does me and then i'm going to come in with the light pumpkin pie and we're going to color her spots just like that that should be 
just like that again I haven't blended it I've just left it like that then what we're going to do is adhere that to a piece of crumb cake cardstock with a small edge making sure it's even all the way around and then we're going to come in with our base card which is lemon lime twist I'm going to be sorry to see this colour go I think a lot of us are so I'm making the most of it while we can and not only that the colour goes with this DSP so all I'm doing there just adhering it like that and then that's nearly our card done so now what we're going to do is we're going to put our kangaroo together once again I've die cut the kangaroo um, using the animal um, friends dies and when I and I'm going to pop him pop her up I'll say her because she's got a little pouch um, so when I'm popping up DSP that has been die cut or fussy cut I do another piece in just plain cardstock and I'd, I adhere my DSP shape onto the piece of cardstock. Now I've found that this gives your shape a little bit of more stability, especially if you're going to pop them up. Um, it all fits around perfectly so and that's all I've done and it just makes it a little bit stronger and as I said stability then we're going to get our oh, now I've lost sorry I've lost my um, here they are, my dimensionals so what we're going to do is just put a few dimensionals onto the back of our mama kangaroo Take off the little lids. Actually, we had kangaroos on the beach this morning. It was low tide and they like hopping out at low tide. Having a bit of a hop around and a little bit of play. And we're just going to put her right there like that. And that's that. That's the joey or the mummy kangaroo. Then we're going to grab a piece of whisper white cardstock, which I thought I had. As you can see, I'm very organised. I do apologise for that. So I've just bought in a scrap of Whisper White. And I'm just going to... Usually things go wrong when you do a recording. That's Murphy's Law. So I'm just using... Um, Memento Tuxedo Black, stamping that down, trimming that back, I might just trim it off a little bit here too, and I'm just going to Cut this into a banner shape. If you had the triple banner punch, you could use that. It would do the same thing. And I'm just going to I do apologize for the shadow. It's it's a little bit overcast outside. I've had to turn the light on. So that's all we're going to do there. Once again, I'm going to pop up, pop this up. So we're we'll popping a few dimensionals on the back. Take off the little lids and put my greeting or sentiment about there. So that'll do me. 
Then what we're going to do is finish off with a bit of bling. Now, I'm using candy dots that were are now retired a couple of years ago, only to try and use them up. But you can use anything you like. Um, it's just to, I just felt it just needed something to fill, um, finish it off a little bit. There, and we might do one there. Sticky little devils, and that'll do me. I only want three, and that is our card. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya! Hooray!